Hello, it's Jay. And today I'm doing something slightly different. I've decided that I'm going to do a video every day in July. And the very first thing that I'm going to do in this video is introduce you to my dog. His name is Charlie. He's... How old are you? What are you, like seven? He's like seven, probably. I can't remember. We've had him a while. So, he's probably more like six. I'm going to go with six. I think you're six. Are you six? He's probably six. And um, he's a Jack Russell, and look how cute he is. He's a cutie, and he's very patient, and likes to be held. And likes to lick hands. So, he's gonna be just down here by my side while I do this video. Because for this video every day in July thing, I'm gonna be trying to like, come up with the most interesting thing I can to talk about. But like, sometimes it will probably be just vlogs about what I did that day. But, like, I'll try to keep it interesting, because I am going on holidays during July, so there'll be something interesting to say there. Even, like, tomorrow I'm going to MCM Dublin Comic Con, so, again, that'll be something interesting anyway. So, um, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to start this very first video every day in July video. I feel like my face looks redder than it did the first time I tried to record this, but, like, nothing has changed. That was, like, half an hour ago. Um... Today I'm going to be talking about uh, waiting and jealousy when it comes to transitioning because I found that like the majority of people who have trans friends will have trans friends who are further ahead in their transition than you are and that can be hard to deal with. Uh, the way this has kind of happened for me is that like since um, around September 2015 I've been going to like a support group with my parents so there's a parent support group and like a trans young people support group that run at the same time the dog is licking my hand that's why i've kind of zoned out he's like licking me because he's a weirdo and um in that support group obviously everyone who goes has at least semi supportive parents because their parents have to bring them and um as a result of that that means that most people who want to medically transition are pursuing their medical transition and as a result, anyone who's older than me, the majority of the people older than me are further ahead in their transition than I am. And that is a stressful thing for me because um, like I knew I was trans when I was 14 and I started on T when I turned 16. So I was waiting about two years to start on T. Then, um, then I started to when I was 16, so on my 16th birthday, and I probably won't be getting top surgery until the summer after I finish uh, school, which will be in the summer of 2018. So that will have been two and a half years almost between me starting T and me getting top surgery. So in total, that puts me at about four and a half years, almost five years spent transitioning. And then I also want to get a hysterectomy after that. So, like, in total, I'll probably be, like, five years, at least, spent transitioning. And, like, there's nothing wrong with that, but it can be kind of, like... It's easy to get jealous, especially when, like, on Tumblr and on YouTube, you often see, like, trans people who are, like, 17, 18, 19, who have, like... Uh, they start tea and then, like... Within a year, they've had top surgery. And like some people, like within six months, they've had top surgery. And I'm here like, fucking hell. Like, I'm glad that there are people who are in a position to do that, but that's not the position I'm in. And that's not a position I was ever really going to be in because of my age. Like, you have to be 16 to, prescri to be prescribed testosterone in Ireland. So like, I'm at the limit there. And I don't, like, my parents don't want to let me have surgery when I'm under 18. And I don't want to miss any of my last year of school or miss college for top surgery. Which leaves me with just the summer in between finishing school and starting college. This dog is so soft. Um, I'm like... It sucks that I have to wait. But there's always a plus side. Like, for example, 
a lot of my friends who were on T helped me make decisions about like I had to decide whether I was going to take Sustan on or Nibido. And um, my friends helped me make that choice and figure out what the right choice was going to be for me. Um, a lot of my friends were having top surgery with the same guy. And I, um, as, a, as a result, like I'm probably going to have top surgery with that person as well. Because I'm going to be able to look at my friends' results and be like, okay... Would I be happy with those results? Would I want this result? And probably, yeah. Because I know already two people who have had top surgery with this guy. And then I know two, three more who are having top surgery before the end of this coming January with this guy. Uh, so I know a lot of people who are having top surgery with this person. And therefore, like, that's going to be really beneficial to me when I'm planning my top surgery. And um, the fact that there's people that I'm friends with who are more experienced in their medical transition than me is really beneficial to me because it means that I have people that I can talk to about stuff that I'm not the expert in, that I don't have personal experience in. And that's really useful. And that's something that's like a pro to having to wait a lot. Um <clears throat> Another positive for that is that I know I'm not rushing into things because I feel like sometimes people rush into things and they make minor bad choices as in like you might go on Sustanon instead of Nibido when Nibido in reality would have been a better choice for you or you get like this top surgery instead of that top surgery with this person then instead of that person and you probably and you could have gotten better results with somebody else than the person you went to like I, I can't be rushing things because I have so much time. This dog has so much patience for me. Um, he's still down here. Hello. He's asleep. Um, like, I just feel like waiting and jealousy when it comes to transition are things that it's very hard to avoid. Very, very, very hard. And, like, you could always be like, I wish that this happened instead, or I wish that this happened instead, or I want to be in this situation instead. But, like... That's never going to happen. Like, you spend all your time wishing that you were in a different situation, but that's not going to happen. You're not going to wake up one day and be in someone else's shoes. That isn't... It's not going to freak you Friday. And um, so you just have to learn to deal with the situation that you're in. And for me, that means looking on the bright side. I have people that I can talk to about these things who are going to be more experienced than me, who can offer me advice that I wouldn't get otherwise. And... <laughs> Um, I know I'm not going to be rushing into things. I know I'm not going to be making the wrong choices for me. Um, <laughs> this beautiful dog. Stuff like that. You've got to look on the bright side. Because otherwise, how are you going to... How are you going to like... How are you going to cope if you don't look on the bright side? No matter how long you have to wait, you're going to get what you want in the end. You're going to get there. Like, I think of it this way. Some people... like. You're basically, like, comparing yourself to people who started the race before you, you know? Or you're comparing yourself to people who had a head start in whatever way. Like, I feel like because I came out when I was 14, <clears throat> that set me back a little bit. Like, I feel like the ideal age to come out is 17 because here you can get on tea when you're 17. And so... You could be on testosterone and then once you turn 18, you could get top surgery. So like you wouldn't be waiting as long, but you'd still be, you, you still likely would have, um, you still likely would have been like passing as male by the time you're an adult slash by the time you get into college, which would be like, I got lucky that I do pass really well, even though like I'm. Like, even pre-T, I was passing, and um, <clears throat> now that I'm on T, I don't think I ever don't pass. Like, um, I went through passport security without a binder on, and my passport says I'm male, so, like, <laughs> let's be real. Um, so, yeah, like, waiting when you are transitioning sucks, but in reality, there are pros to the fact that you have to wait sometimes and um 
<laughs> it's okay to be jealous of stuff that other people have, but know that you will eventually get what you want. You know, you will get to that point, even if it takes you longer. <sighs> or even if you're like, it happens like a while after it happens to them, like you will still get to that point. And that's okay. So yeah, I'm moving Charlie so he can join in for the goodbye. So thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Um, if you like this video, please like it. It's down here where Charlie is trying to go. And subscribe, which is over here. The dog is going to some weird place now. He's gone now. Goodbye, Charlie. There he is. But yeah, please like and subscribe. Comment section is open down below for any questions you may have. The hat's going to come off now, but my hair is really manky because I haven't like brushed it properly. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.